In this video, I'm going to show you how to weld a half inch uh, butt weld here. Let me show you what we're doing here. I have a half inch mild carbon steel. We've beveled it. So there's a, it's a dual bevel uh, groove, 30 degrees, so 60 degree included. We have some spacers here. We're going to put them on the spacers. That way we don't weld to our table. But before we start, I want to give you a couple of tips. One, I, because this is thicker steel, we, that's why we did the bevel. That allows us to get full penetration. If, we, if there was no bevel and we were just welding at the top, I, it wouldn't, I, the weld would not get down to the very bottom. So this allows us to get full penetration through the entire material. When we start, we're actually going to want to start with a couple of tack welds, one on this side, one on that side. The reason why we do that is as we are welding across, it keeps the material where we want it instead of opening up. If you don't tack weld and you start on this side, as you move this way, the metal will actually separate. And then our weld is going to look like this at the end. and We want it to be straight. So uh, the tack weld is going to be about the size of a pencil eraser, very small. You also don't want the tack weld right at the very end. If you have it in a little bit on this material, you know, coming in, uh, half inch is fine. Uh, if it was longer material, you could come in an inch, but you don't want it on the end because as you're welding, you want it to blend in and that'll help with the structural integrity of the weld. If you just put it at the end, then it's going to be uh, a cold weld and it's not going to be as strong. So those are some of the, the basics. Let me show you how we're going to be filling this in though. So if this is our groove, we're going to start and we're just going to fill in at the bottom, one, one all the way across. And then we're going to come on this side, and then we'll alternate to the other side until we fill in the whole groove. That'll be the proper way of doing it. We're just going to go across like that. All right, so without further ado, let's get to it. Cover. Start with our tack welds. Now we'll work our way across. Okay, we've made one pass. Let's turn it over and see how we did. So this was a starting point. You can see I could have waited a little bit longer uh, starting, and but all, the rest of the way we got full penetration. That is really good. So this is actually a pretty good example to see what it looks like if we didn't get full penetration and what it does if we did. You can see that now we'll start to offset and then we'll just fill this, fill this in. Okay, we've just made our second pass now here. You can see we fill in on this side. Now our third pass, we're gonna fill in on this side of the groove. Now we've made our third pass right here. Fourth one, I think will be our last one and we'll just watch our puddle fill and we'll just fill this up. We just barely finished our fourth pass. So let me show you what it looks like on this side. Our first one was here, second was here, third was here, and then our fourth one is right on top. If you're out in the field doing real work with it, you're not going to want to quench the materials. You're not going to want to dunk it in water. And if this was also kind of for real work, you put another piece of metal right here and run this off. That way this would look good on that side. But just overall, this is just a quick, quick demonstration on how to weld thick metal. Again, this is half inch mild steel, mild carbon steel. And this is a quick way to make sure you have a good weld that, full pen that penetrates fully for a butt weld. Appreciate you checking out the Handy Dandy Andy channel. If you have any questions or want to see a different type of weld, put it in the comments and we'll get to it.